morning! Welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Ginger and we are in the truck because we're on our way to a dressage show. this time. Nice and cool. Working good. We're at the show. Cielo is there where that lady's walking. He's right there. So I have a nice view of him. Oh my hair is looking pretty pretty fantastic. <laughs> anyway so we're here. Um, got the AC running. Got my fridge uh, doing good. Fridge freezer's doing good. Um, just got to set up my my bed and um, let Cielo relax for a little bit and then I'll take him out later and ride when it cools down a little bit. It's going to be over 100 um, all weekend, but we're riding early um, in the day. I think my latest ride is like 123. So um, pretty civilized times. We don't have to wait until like 3, 4 in the afternoon this time, which is cool. So um, hopefully I don't have my finger over the um, mic. <laughs> New phone. So anyway, uh, I'm going to get the rest of my stuff set up, get some lunch, and then go check on him in a little bit. Okay, today's the first day of the show, and I've got some of my gear. Uh, I need to bathe him this morning. I uh, didn't handle the heat well last night, so I didn't do like any vlogging at all. Um, because I got up to 99, but there must be more humidity down here. And I started, uh, felt like I was going to pass out. <laughs> it was cramping up. Um, so I didn't do much. I just hosed him off and then ate something, went to bed. So this morning, which is a good call, I didn't bathe him last night because he laid in a pile of poo last night. So he's got a nice big stain on his side. So I'm um, going to bring my gear down. It's comfortable, but not like as warm as I normally would bathe in. But I got to bathe him this morning and get him ready and then um, I ride at 10.45. All right, bath time is done. Um, he actually is white again, so that's impressive. I'm going to walk him around a little bit. He's shivering because it's a bit chilly here in the shade uh, so that he can dry. So we're going to do that and then I'm going to get some breakfast and get ready and we ride in a couple hours. Bird just flew into something and spooked a little bit. so. Um, we're in the warm-up, uh, getting ready for our first level test three. We have 45 minutes before we go down center one. So just walking and uh, walking in the warm-up. And we're ready to pick him up here in a few minutes. And uh, do some trot and canter and then let him walk to relax again.
so we finished our first level test three and I did uh, a sort of warm up. I did less of a warm up and then I really um, pushed for a little bit more and tried to get him to really extend on the medium canner and then I tried to really push for the lengthening. He got a little steppy on the second lengthening but that's fine. I'd rather that than not have enough so I was really trying to do a little bit more within the test. Um, he still was tense after the first canner to the trot and so I didn't get the transition right away so I brought him right back patted him and then asked for the lead and he was better this time so it's getting there so hopefully by Sunday we'll actually have it but um, he's had a couple treats and he's chilling and we're gonna go back out here in a few minutes get back on and do some uh, walk canter transitions and uh, get ready for the second level test my second level test I had to throw him in the stall and get my stuff off because I'm overheating so I started getting cramps before in my sides before I went into the ring I was trying to stay in the shade trying to drink my zeros and uh, did good through uh, most of the test was quite happy with the way I wrote it I was really pushing the for the mediums and pushing uh, for the you know to get him to do more and to collect to actually show some collection and then I get up to the, 
I try uh, anyway. I forgot to trot up and do halt and rein back. <laughs> I never forget that movement. And I started to go into my walk pirouettes and realized I think I forgot something. So, yep, two points there for me. Ah, boo booed. And then, of course, it was fine. And then got through my uh, serpentine and got to the end of the canner. And then for some reason I thought, oh, I'm supposed to trot here. No, that's a simple change. <gasps> Rider error number two. <laughs> and I, I apologize to the judge. I'm like, I'm getting overheated. Um, and my brain is just uh, not with me at the moment. So anyway, I'm going to come in here, change clothes, and then go get him hosed off because it's hot out already. Anyway, that was today. And I'll, you, you'll see the videos. And then check on him. He's got his fan down there. He was standing in front of his fan taking a nap earlier. And, and just do some stretching and um, see how he feels. Maybe do some groundwork. Uh, he was a bit tight and a bit tense, but I expected that uh, day one. He's been doing better uh, each ride, so other than the, the two rider errors that I made today, duh. I actually would have come up 10% in my score had I not made those errors. Um, so that would have been fantastic. But anyway, off uh, to get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm riding uh, midday, so like 12.38 and 1.30 or something. So uh, that's going to be interesting. She said the jackets were probably going to be waved. Um, and I asked if we could ride in our um, cool vest. And she said yes, over the shirt. So um, I'm probably going to have to ride in the cool vest tomorrow because I was... Definitely having a problem with the heat today. I just did some uh, groundwork and uh, he was really, really tight and really stressed. So um, I did some groundwork, loosened him up. His right side was really tight. Um, I looked at my video from yesterday of the first level test. I didn't bother to look at the second level because I made two errors. Um, and he was uh, very against the hand, which I felt in the warm up, but I was trying to get him to loosen. And then when I felt like he was. He was freer. He was actually sticking his nose out, so he wasn't round enough. Um, so I need to uh, do a little bit better to get him really on the contact um, and rounder before I ride today. So make a few adjustments. Um, you know, this, the, you know, he's had three shows in three years, so <laughs> it's not going to be magic overnight. So anyway, I'm going to probably do some more groundwork with him before I get on. Before uh, before we start our ridden warm-up um, to really make sure that he's uh, loose uh, through his body or looser through his body because now he's putting his head down and he's more relaxed. So that's what I need him to be. I need him to be in a more relaxed state uh, before I get on.
I just finished my second uh, level test, my second ride, and I went and picked up the score sheets, and <laughs> they're really kind of funny. So I had him more through and with me, and actually carrying himself more, and he was much more rideable today than he was yesterday when he was running off, and he scored better yesterday than he did today. Who knew? Whatever. Anyways, <laughs> they actually scored him worse, harsher today than he did yesterday when he was running off and barely manageable. I, I don't know. Anyway, it's just kind of funny the way that goes, but from a rider's perspective, I was happy the way I was able to manage him through the test. He was, like I said, more rideable. Um, you know, so overall, we're making him some improvements of test riding and that sort of thing. That's why I'm doing the shows, but it was kind of funny. All right. I reached critical mass with the heat, so I did a little jerry-rigging, and now I've blocked the heat out. And of course it's really dark in here, but it's much cooler. 